Hello everyone, my name is Ankit and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how you can uh, speed up your editing process using keyboard shortcuts. So there are 10 most important keyboard shortcuts that almost everyone uses. So let's start with the first one and the first one is the control K. So suppose if you want to make a cut in this video at this point, then what you can do is you can go to this razor tool, select this tool and make a cut here. And again, you will have to go back and select the selection tool and that's, that's how you can do it. But the shortcut is what you can do is select this and press control K. You will cut this video and then again, press control K. And then again, press control K. So it's so easy and so it's so easy and fast. Now, if you want to make a cut in the complete layer on every layer, so what you can do is you can press control shift and K. So it'll make cut in every layer. Okay, now the second one is if you want to move right or left, you can go frame by frame, one frame by at a time. But if you want to move five frames at a time, so what you can do is you can press shift and right arrow key. You will go five frames and then you can make a cut using control K and then five arrow left and five arrow left and again press control K. So this is the way you can do it. So you can go five frames at a time. So the third one is suppose if you want to go to the first frame of this video or the end of this video or the first frame of this video, end of this video or any anywhere if you want to go it, the easy way would be to go using the shift and up arrow key. Shift and up arrow key for the left, shift and up arrow key to go to the first frame and shift and down arrow key to go to the last frame. So shift arrow key, shift up arrow key, shift up arrow key, shift up arrow key. Now it's considering all the clips. For example, if for example, if you're going left, so shift up arrow key, and if it's considering every it's considering every layer. Now if you don't go from this particular layer, then you can disable the, all these layers, and then you can press the only up arrow key and you will go from this video to this see it's so easy i'm just pressing down arrow key and you're going clip to clip okay i'm going to zoom out this to show you so now i'm going from one video to another video it's so easy to do use this i use it all the time otherwise it's very difficult to go to the first frame of this video for example now if you use this then you can just press up arrow key you will do it okay so now the fourth one is if you know copy this clip what you can do is you can press alt you can press alt and or option you can press alt or option and then you can just click on left click on the mouse and you can drag it anywhere it will just copy this and this, then just release it so you created a copy of this video again and then just delete it if you want to delete it so you have to press the alt option alter option and then just and then just use the mouse to go anywhere and then just leave it there it will copy and then release the alter option key okay now the fifth one is if you want to zoom in or zoom out on the timeline then what you can do is you just press the minus key to zoom out and plus key to zoom in to the timeline it's so easy if you don't you can see the whole project using the, just the minus key and then plus key to zoom in the sixth one is the default transitions default video transitions and default audio transitions if you want to apply the default video transition then you can what you can do is you can select these two picks and press ctrl d you will get the default video transitions it's the cross dissolve for now so if you want to apply the default audio transitions, then what you can do is just select this audio clip and press Ctrl Shift D. You'll get the default audio transition. If you want to apply in between these two clips, then what you can do is just select these two clips and press Ctrl Shift D. It's so easy. Otherwise, what, what you need to do, you go to the effects panel and then you search here, cross dissolve, and then you drag it here. It's so difficult. It, instead, what you can do is just select these two picks and press Ctrl D. It's so easy. Okay, now you can change the default transition. You can see that it's set to default. I'll just click on the right and set as set select it as default transition. Okay, if I don't want to select this as a default transition, so what I'll do is I'll go to the video transitions, dissolve, and I can change it. Set selected as the default transition. So now I've selected deep to black as the default transitions. Now what I now what I'll do is I'll select this and press control and press control. Uh, now I'll select these two and press control D. 
so you'll get the default transitions black now okay i'm going to change this to cross dissolve and same for the audio transition go to the audio transition and cross fade and you can change this okay now the seventh one is if you want to rearrange your clips what you will usually do suppose if you want to rearrange these two clips what you will usually do you will just drag this up and then drag it here and then drag it here or for example if you want to drag these two videos then you will drag this here and then drag this here and then just drag this here the easy way would be to press ctrl and alt or command and option and then just drag this video here suppose if you want to select this and release, release this so you will rearrange this clip so easily so this is the shortcut that's very important so press ctrl and alt again and then just drag wherever you want for example here and leave it and it's rearranged everything accordingly select this and just drag it here it's rearranged so it's so easy use this okay now the eighth one is suppose if you're working in a big timeline like this and if you want to select everything to the right and just drag it so you what you'll do is you'll you select everything you might miss something and just drag this here instead what you can do is just zoom in and press a on the keyboard and just click it this and you have selected everything that is to the right you won't miss anything and just drag it here so now you can work in this area and just do everything or if you want to select everything that is to the left of it then you press shift a that and it'll select and then click it and it will select everything that is to the right you don't need to worry about anything it will select automatically everything and you can just drag it everywhere anywhere you want for example this and just drag everything that is to the right it's so easy to do that you don't need to worry about anything okay now the ninth one is ripple delete suppose if you want to make a cut here what you'll do is you'll press ctrl shift k here and you will delete this and then again you will press delete and it will just drag it here instead the better option would be to use press q here on the keyboard press q here on the keyboard what it will do is it's a shortcut it will make a cut here and delete it and just drag everything to the left let me press q it did it. it's so easy to do that and now if you wanna do it from the end of this clip you can press wq and it'll select everything and delete everything it's so easy to do that okay i'm going to press ctrl z again and you can do it anywhere in the video for example if you want to make a cut press q here it will just delete everything and select it and drag it to the left or press w on the keyboard it will just delete everything here and drag it it's so easy Okay, now the 10th one is suppose if you want to speed up this video and you want to drag till here what you'll do is you'll go to the speed you will select you will just select a random number say 500 or oh, you got this less and now you'll go back again you'll select 250 and still not up to this point so what you'll do is you'll just select this and go back again and select 270 select to select 230 and now you have got till that point not exact yeah not exact instead the easy way would be to do is select r on the keyboard and just drag it till here exact it's so easy to do that now you can press v to get the selection tool and click right click and check the speed here it's 277.96 it does exactly it's cutting on this point so these are the 10 most important keyboard shortcuts that you can use on Premiere Pro to fasten your process and I hope this tutorial helped you and it will make your process work very fast. So if you like this video please subscribe to this channel, I will be creating more tutorial on Premiere Pro. So keep watching, stay connected, bye bye.